Hi, in this video I will show you how to create simple open web app for open web apps module for OpenMRS. For more information related to this topic you can visit the link in the description. Also you can find here the link for the basic open web app which we will be using. So let's download it. So now let's look on the basic structure of the basic app. First we have the manifest.webapp, then we have the index.html file and JS and image folder. And we can also add another folders like CSS or other folders. So now let's open this so we can look on it. So the manifest of web app contains the basic information about the web app and so let's look on it. So first is version which is pretty simple the version of app. Next is the name so we will name it like this. App. And it's description so we can. Then is the launchpad which specifies the path to the default HTML file so we will let it on index.html which is the, our mine. Then is the icons which specify the location of the icons. We can change it. I have some icons. We will copy it into image icons. Place it here. And then rename this to scene. And the number here actually specifies the resolution of the icon. So this icon has, is 40 pixels times 40 pixels. It then is the developer name. So you can write here your name. Then is the default locate which specify the default language. And then here is the activities. And the value of this is actually changed when you install the app on the server. And this value is changed to the default location of the OpenMRS server. So we can use it for some REST calls or something like this. So let's create some simple app. First look on this index.html. We can write something like And, and here we will put the name of the actual user and we will use REST calls to get this name. So when we open this JS folder we can see the main JS file and also we have here the jQuery file which we will be using. So when we open this main JS file function load manifest which actually gets this where is the default URL of the server specified. So let's get some function which will run when the app is started. We will be using jQuery, so let's get now because we want to get the name of the user, we need to specify the URL of the REST call so we can create URL and we will actually use this session storage with the server URL so we will use storage dot get item and then we specify the name and for us we add the REST location so it is and slash session which will give us the basic information about actual session and we can find the name of the user here so now when we specify the get url we have to create the rest call and get the data from the server oh i actually forget parentheses here so we will use jQuery again dot 
right. and this and we have to specify the URL which is the get URL string then we have to specify data type which specify the type of the data which we will get from the server and I will use JSON then we have to specify the success function which will be the function which will run when we get the data and I will use jQuery selector for me because I want to connect the data which we will get to this so dot uh, and data and I because in data we get more than just the name of the user we have to specify what we want to append here user dot dot display and, and now we have to create zip file from all the files in our app folder okay. choose zip format and name it somehow for example testing app easy file now go to the openmrs administration and on the right side where are the modules you will hit manage apps under the open web apps module and go to browser and find location of your zip file and open it and right now you can see the icon of your app and the name description developer and version and when you click on it it will open the app and you can see we have the Welcome to the test app right here, like HTML, and you are logging in as, and it actually writes super user because we are logging as super user. Now, if we actually log out and log in for example as login and do test app, we will see Jake Smith. So, this is the simple open web app which you can create so i hope you find this useful and for more information visit the link in the description